Hi everyone, I hope your preparations are going nice. Okay, so in the previous lesson, we discussed about the uh, residential investment. We discussed about how a stock equilibrium, meaning demand and supply, which is currently our housing, how does it determine the relative price of housing? And how does it determine the housing relative price of housing? How does it determine the flow of residential investment ki abhi hame aur kitna investment karne se fayda ho sakta hai ya incentives hain itna humne discuss kar liya tha then we also discussed about how these theories they are somehow this this theory of residential investment this is uh, similar to the tobin skew theory of business fixed investment so this much we have done in case if you have uh, not uh, yet uh, learned about the part one of residential investment that is just the previous video then this will be more clear to you and uh, now this is part two and the last part of residential investment so here now we will discuss ki ye jo changes hai housing demand mein, ye further kaise changes leke aate hai. Okay. see housing demand can change because of various reasons first reason is ki ya to ekdam se national income bahut zyada increase ho gayi hai as a result of which people demand more houses. For example, you as graduates or any other individual, abhi suppose that you are a student ho and then you get your job after your graduation or after your post-graduation or after securing any, any kind of job by giving your entrance exam and you get a job and then you realize, okay, now since my job is here, say in Delhi, so up it's better that I have a house rather than paying rent or rather than living as a paying guest. So when our income increases, then we purchase the uh, houses which in turn leads to an increase in housing demand. Now this is your as an individual, but on the macro level, there are so many students who every year they enter into the labor force and thus they start earning income as a result of which housing demand increases in a particular area. So this is one reason. One reason can be immigration. That suppose due to any reason, a large part of population in a particular area is increasing and thus say yahan pe bahut zyada job opportunities hai if we see at uh, we see uh, the area of say gurgaon jo hamara wo tlf wala sara phase hai agar hum wahan pe dekhte hain gurugram now agar hum wahan pe dekhte hain so wahan pe because the industries started coming up mnc started coming up in the recent past and thus the whole new housing societies residential areas have been have been now developing there at a very fast pace so, because there is immigration ho raha hai because people are getting job opportunities there. So, thus they will start purchasing their houses. Another reason for immigration may be that a lot of population, Indian population, is supposedly they were working in US and due to any reason of policy change, unka visa approve nahi hua, maybe due to stricter policy changes and then they realize that they need to come back to their home country, say India, or then they are going to purchase their houses. So, if we have a large scale immigration ho jata hai population, ka, which in turn demands more housing societies, more households, this leads to an increase in demand for houses in a particular time period. Now, when our demand increases, I'll show you the diagram also. Say this blue line, this is our initial demand curve. Rather, what I'll do is I'll draw this diagram for you and you guys can also draw it side by side. Suppose that here we are taking, say this is our stock market. Matlab, abhi currently, our situation chal rahi hai? KH represents that this is the stock for housing and on y-axis, PH by P represents that this is the relative price for housing. Say in a given time period, supply of the houses is fixed. That is why the supply curve of houses is a vertical line. Now, the initial demand curve will be a downward sloping original demand. Why downward sloping? Because as the prices increases, of the households, the demand for the households will reduce. So, because there is a negative relationship, isile our demand curve downward sloping hota hai. So, this determines our original price level, suppose PH by P1. Now, say because of an increase in national income, the demand increases. And this expansion of demand is represented by a rightward shift in the demand curve. I am representing it this by green color curve and this is our new demand. 
सप्लाई विल बी फिक्स इन अ पर्टिकुलर टाइम पीरियड प्लीज रिमेम्बर सिंस वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट स्टॉक एकदम से हम सप्लाई ऑफ हाउ एकदम से हम नए घर नहीं ला सकते सो सप्लाई इज फिक्सड सो दिस लीड्स टू एन increase in the price of the households now how will it affect the flow supply and the residential investment let us see that so say this is our flow investment on x axis here we are taking ih that is investment flow investment of housing on y axis we are taking ph by p that is our relative prices now at this lower price say this is our supply curve okay and this is our initial investment now price increases because of the expansion in demand and this increase in price because of law of supply leads to an increase in the quantity supplied of households that is leads to an increase in the flow investment of the households so this is why changes in the housing demand leads to the changes in the supply of the households in the residential investment now let us go through this systematically so we say that when the demand for housing shifts the equilibrium price of housing changes agar hamara increase karta hai demand to price bhi increase karega and thus this in turn affects the residential investment price increase karega to hamara residential investment increase karega price reduce karega to residential investment reduce karega now the demand curve for housing can shift for various reasons abhi hum assume kar rahe hain ki demand increase ho rahi hai to kya reasons ho sakte hain an economic boom raises the national income and this in turn increases the demand for housing second reason can be a large increase in population and this may be because of immigration and this in turn increases the demand for housing वहीं अगर हम अपोजिट सिनारियो कंसीडर कर लें कि नेशनल इनकम एकदम से रिड्यूस हो गई तो डिमांड का लेफ्टवर्ड शिफ्ट हो जाएगा या डाउनवर्ड शिफ्ट हो जाएगा जिसकी वजह से प्राइस रिड्यूस हो जाएगा जिसकी वजह से फ्लो इन्वेस्टमेंट रिड्यूस हो जाएगी This is the diagram we have already discussed. This diagram, where in part A represents the market for housing and part B represents the supply of new housing. Now, this expansionary shift in the uh, demand increases the equilibrium price, and this in turn leads to an increase in the residential investment. Now, what are the determinants of हाउसिंग डिमांड किन किन फैक्टर्स पे हाउसिंग डिमांड डिटर्मिन करता है एक तो फैक्टर होता है रियल इंटरेस्ट रेट और दूसरा फैक्टर होता है क्रेडिट अवेलेबिलिटी रियल इंटरेस्ट रेट मतलब अगर हम घर ले रहे हैं जिस पे हमें लोन लेना है तो अगर वो लोन लेने के टाइम पे रियल इंटरेस्ट रेट इज लेस तो इसका मतलब कि हमारे लिए वो लोन लेना चीपर है तो हमारी डिमांड हाउसेज की ज्यादा होएगी मतलब सपोज अगर एक सिनेरियो है जहां पे रियल इंटरेस्ट रेट से हमारा फाइव परसेंट है ठीक है और एक सिनेरियो है जहां पे हमारा रियल इंटरेस्ट रेट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट है सपोज अभी हमें लगता है रियल इंटरेस्ट रेट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट है तो हमें लगता है कि हम एक टू हम एक फोर बी का ना लेके अभी सपोज टू बी का ले लेते हैं यू गो टू दैंक बैंक वाला बोलता है सर दे इज अम स्कीम ड्यू टू सर्टन पॉलिसी चेंजेस नाउ द इंटरेस्ट रेट ऑन योर लोन इज ओनली फाइव परसेंट सो वी विल से दैट्स ग्रेट अब हम टू बी एच के नहीं अब हम फोर बी एच के लेने के लायक है बिकॉज अब हमारा रियल इंटरेस्ट रेट जो लोन है वो चीप हो गया है so this in turn leads to an increase in the housing demand okay so one important factor here one important determinant of housing demand is the real interest rate this interest rate is the cost of loan loan even the few people who do not have to borrow to purchase a home will respond to the interest rate because the interest rate is the opportunity cost of holding their wealth in housing rather than putting it in a bank matlab jo log loan nahi bhi lete hain unke liye bhi interest rate ek opportunity cost hai kyunki agar wo loan nahi le rahe hain suppose so in that situation jo agar 25% real interest rate hai that is a huge opportunity cost 5% hai that is less opportunity cost okay so a reduction in the interest rate increases the housing demand we have discussed this example 25% hai aur 5% hai and increases the housing prices and this in turn increases the residential investment 
the other determinant of household is credit availability it means that when it is easy to get house uh, loans then more households buy their own homes and they buy larger ones than they otherwise might have Thus, finally, this leads to an increase in the demand for housing. Or जब हमें ये credit availability या loans हम किस तरीके से लेते हैं, उसमें बहुत ज़्यादा paper work involved है, बहुत ज़्यादा confusing चीज़ें, complex चीज़ें involved हैं, loan लेना आसान नहीं है, which means credit conditions बहुत tight हैं, then fewer people will buy their own homes and trade up to larger ones, and the demand for housing will actually uh, decline. So these are the two important determinants of the um, of the residential investment of the housing demand. With this, your residential investment is over, and the last uh, theory that we will do in this unit of investment is inventory investment. So that will be the next lesson. All the best for your preparation, guys. Please take care. Let me know if you have any doubts. Post it in the comments. I'll try to resolve. Take care.